The runner-up, Jim Thompson, the owner of the right-wing website Free Republic, which has moderated comments, meaning a grown-up is supposed to read them and delete the crazier ones. But Thompson's folks waited as long as three days before removing a comment thread devoted to the racist rage of a disturbingly large number of his posters, possibly some of the same people who had previously conducted polls on the site on how best to topple the freely elected government of the United States. After President Obama's daughter appeared in a t-shirt with a peace sign on it at the G8, a thread at Free Republic was opened with another photo of the First Lady captioned, to entertain her daughter Michelle Obama loves to make monkey sounds. Some of the posts described the Obamas individually and collectively as, quote, typical street whore, bunch of ghetto thugs, ghetto street trash, dirt bags, wonder when she will get her first abortion, they make me sick, the whole family, mammy, pappy, the freeloading mammy-in-law, the misguided children, chillin', I guess it is, and especially Lil Cuz. No indication of how many of the racist attacks on Malia Obama were made by people who simultaneously were threatening anybody who even mentioned Sarah Palin's children. The most prominent response at Free Republic was not an apology, but rather the claim that the comments were planted. This was in turn greeted by more racist comment by veterans of the site and a call to action to flood the email accounts of a list of the mainstream media people. People like Don Imus of MSNBC, the CBS Evening News with Dan Rather, and Paula Zahn and Bill Hemmer and Tucker Carlson and Robert Novak of CNN. You let me know if Dan Rather still answers his CBS emails. Clowns. Hey.